Hello fam! So today we are going to be doing, or I'm going to be showing y'all and walking you guys through Declutter Central 2K19. So realizing that I wish I would have filmed this when we were actually decluttering because that would have been a lot more entertaining for you guys, but um, we're still going to do it anyways. So let's get started. So basically we're going to get started. I'm going to walk y'all over to my closet. This is Nate's closet right here. There it is. It's a little messy right now. We're in the process of decluttering this, so we'll go through it. We've started a little bit. You can kind of see there's like a little uh, shoe. Nope. Come on, camera. There's a little shoe thing down there. Um, but we're going to go through mine. Hi. So one of the questions y'all actually asked or whenever I was showing you guys all of this was, where is Nate's stuff? And the answer is in a different closet, thankfully. He was very, very sweet and gave me this closet so I could have it. Um, there's our bathroom. We're kind of in the mode of decluttering that so you can kind of see some of it's nice, but some of it's not so much. So here is the clutter central. So before I show you guys what it looks like right now, this is a picture of what it looked like before we decluttered it. High key terrifying, don't know how in the world it got to that place, what I was doing with my life to make sure that it happened, I really have no idea. But um, we're here now. So, I don't even know where to start, but we're just gonna start from one wall. So this wall I actually never took a picture of, but it was ridiculous. And I just kind of had some shoes stuck on top of each other and that was it. Um, and then I had my hats like put in like a random pile. So we got command strips have been our best friend. So command strips has a ton of these little BB hooks. You can kind of see that way up there. Tiny little BB hook. So we put, oh, let's hope that's it. There we go. So we got a few of those hooks and we've been using those for my hats, for scarves, for robes, which is on another wall. And then I got this bad boy from the container store. I think it was like $15 and it fits um, literally everything. Let me zoom this down so you guys can see everything. Woohoo! All of my shoes. I'm trying to figure out that bottom part. But that's super happy. And then here we are. Ta -da! I'll put a picture right here, right now, so you guys can see the after product. Shalom pow. I'm pretty proud of it. So, um, I'm just gonna kind of go through this process. So what we did, I took out every, literally just every item of clothing that was in here. So I took it all out and put it on my bed. Uh, all of the hangers, everything that was up there, everything that was in this corner, everything that was on the ground. It was ridiculous. All of these shoes, put everything of mine and I threw it into another room and put it on my bed. And then went through every single item, tried them on, and really thought to myself, am I actually going to wear this ever? <laughs> Not just like, because I have this problem where even if it's like, like there's this tank top that I've had since like the seventh grade that I would wear to dance conventions in that... In my brain, I'm like, well, yeah, if there's like a sunflower party, then I'll put it on. But there's not really ever a sunflower party. So I did the thing that we all talked about. We're all obsessed with uh, Maria Kundo and her show. So looked at my items, said thank you for all of the joy that you brought me in my life. But thank you. Hold, please. So then that was it. Um, thank you, next. And uh, did that. It took roughly about like three hours, four hours to go through all those clothes. And uh, whenever I put them back in, we did a color clothing color clothing so most of my clothes are gray and neutrals and then we put the rest of my clothes over here I got a lot of white as well uh, command strip hook for my robes love it this is actually a really really nice and sturdy one it had two different sides which I like that and I like that it was silver because I made it feel a little bit more cleaner um, this container store container store container store hello container store it was awesome um, I'm pretty sure these were uh, $10 each these bins up here so that's super great and then this bad boy um, I think again uh, I think he was $10 I'll, I'll put I'll try to find them and if I find them I'll put them in the link below um, but so in organizing all of this I put all of my like super summery clothes or all my huge heavy jackets in a whole different bin so all of my gigantic super heavy parka jackets are in another coat uh, with Nate stuff so that's really nice and then all of my summer stuff I put in a different closet because I'm not going to be wearing summer clothes right now in the deadness of January. Alright, so let me try to explain the method to all this madness. So I, once these items made it through the I tried it on test, does it bring me joy test, have I said thank you next to it test, these are the things that made it through. And um, the things that don't make it through, I think it's really important that we all donate it. So Goodwill it or Salvation Army it or do something with it, that's awesome, go do that. Um, but, so got these velvet hangers, I love them, Nathaniel actually hates them. 
don't know why first fight in marriage just kidding not our first fight in marriage no. i think our first fight in marriage was on our honeymoon we were deciding what kind of pizza we should order but <laughs> great for my dad furthermore i love these things they're velvet and the clothes that i have don't slide off which is huge for me um but he likes the wood ones so whenever we declutter his thing we'll show you those bad boys what i decided with these bins was i was going to put all of the clothes that i would wear on the daily in here some of my favorite jackets my huge huge jackets that weigh a lot like my big ones that i wear whenever it's like the arctic tundra those are in another one and my summer clothes like the, my tank tops or things that i know I'll wear for summer those are in a separate bin in um like the front room closet so these two guys though oh let's move that around these two things um i wanted to put all of my sweaters so i've realized not sweaters sweatshirts i've realized i've accumulated a lot of sweatshirts over the years and i can't really give them away they're like the thing that i like hold most of my nostalgic in because it's like sweatshirts from like dance conventions or i don't even know like randomness life you somehow end up with sweatshirts so this guy has all my sweatshirts and then this has all of my workout t-shirts so uh, sleeping t-shirts workout t-shirts t-shirts from college sorority life things that i am still very emotionally attached to that i could not get away from so those are both in there and then over here is sweatpants sweatpants um these are all of my skirts so denim skirts all of that stuff sleepwear um and then this honestly if we're being totally truthful that's just like excess stuff that I could not find extra hangers for, so I put them in there. But furthermore, my tips on this, this is gonna be a useful video, tips on this that I would find um, most helpful and that were most helpful for me were to get things that help you organize. So get bins that look the same. Mine are all cream and mine are all white. I love this little stacking thing that I can put like swimsuits in, shorts in, more summer stuff in. Love these two things. Get the all same type of hanger. That's super helpful too. Get more of these like command strip hook things. Super helpful. We have this. I use the ones on my hats. I even have a few um, in our front room. These and all of that jazz. We hang up all of our um, art with command strips as well. So get those. That's not this conversation though. <laughs> but um, organizing it by color was super helpful. Going through the process of am I actually gonna wear this and does this bring me joy I think is really cool going through that process um, I think for me one of the most helpful things though is not trying to keep it all in the same room while you're cleaning honestly for me the biggest thing that helped was I took all of this out of this space and into another room organized it from there and slowly brought it back in I think that was probably the most helpful thing because I feel like sometimes when we try to clean and organize within this space it just can't breathe so I think that's one of the best things for it but yay decluttering 2k18 what, what, yay! next up on decluttering 2k19 Nathaniel's closet stay tuned <laughs> 